Uh, that's a good one as well. I think that many fintech companies, um, all the small ones that are presenting here, there are some things that would be possible if they just joined forces. Um, and so if we had more collaboration in the market, I think the market as a whole would move faster. Hey, Philip, how are you doing today? I am fine, thank you very much. So we're at Finnovate Europe 2019, it's the second day. <clears throat> so uh, everybody's buzzing here, so we're in the sponsor area. So uh, how did it go so far? Uh, really interesting presentations that we saw, a lot of buzz and interest in our booth here as well. So I think it's going well for everybody. Great, so if I'm correct, um, you're going to present tomorrow during the conference. So can you please tell us more about the topics you're going to talk about? Absolutely. So we're going to talk about the state of the art in identity proofing and authentication and shed a little bit of light on, you know, the methods, which ones are still adequate, which ones should be kind of uh, replaced by other methods. So we'll, it's more of a thought leadership piece really than just about us. Uh, what's going to be the format? Because I know it won't be like part of the demo sessions, but is it going to be something very visual, like a kind of a demo? Or are we talking more like a, again, thought leadership, like backup by a slide? No, it's going to be more of the classic presentation. We're going to have slides, but we're also going to have a demo. So there's also some product that we're going to see. Uh, oof. Uh, it's a very, very important and very um, co uh, competitive market. All those markets around, again, uh, regulation, OKYC, identity management, and uh, all the problem of securities. How does your company differentiate itself? So for us, it's important that we base the identity on the government issued ID. That's the belief that is kind of uh, where we found our product on. So we really try to make sure we have an authentic ID and then have, make sure that we have the person there that fits the photo that is on the ID and that it's a live person, not just a piece of paper or a screen. Um, and with that liveness and the authenticity of the government issued ID, we can establish identity without asking you for any data, without asking you, checking you out in databases and so on. Um, so it's really just rooted in your government issued ID. So you're saying that's one of the, or if not the key differentiator of your solution versus the other ones? Well, when we say identity in the kind of broader context, um, that's how we differentiate against other methods. When we say, you know, companies that do what we do, which is checking government issued IDs, the differentiators surely are quality turnaround time and our ability to convert more users into customers than anybody else. Okay, you're a leader in that field. Uh, we're at Finnovate, so in London. So the question is, <laughs> what made you think that Finnovate was a great investment in terms of time and money in London, so in Europe in 2019? Yeah, we've been here many, many times, uh, not only in London, but also at other Finnovates, and it always pays off for us. It is a fantastic show. It brings the big established players together with some of the new modern kind of forms and startups. Um, I enjoy watching all the demos, whether they are associated with our space or not. I think it's all interesting. I'm a product person. I'm always intrigued to see what other people are doing and get inspiration from that. And Finnovate is the perfect place to do that. We're in the UK, so uh, can you tell me more about the UK market for Jumio, whether now or any great news in the next few months? The UK really is the leading market for challenger banks. It's amazing, the financial institutions that have emerged over the last couple of years. And those are the perfect customers for us. Um, so banks like, um, banks like uh, um, a Monzo, for example, that we won awards with for the user experience, um, and others are perfectly suited for our solutions because it enables them to immediately go to market without worrying about their identity needs. Yeah, thank you again. So the last question is uh, around, again, the key challenges for Jimio in 2019, I mean, and opportunities, by the way. I think we still have a bit of convincing work to do in the industry that other forms of verifying identity are just not adequate and secure enough anymore. Everything that is data-based because of all the hacks and leaks and information that people put on social media, that's just not the right thing to do anymore. And so the government issued ID is something that we can trust, something that the government has given their citizens to prove their identities and that we should leverage more. Well, thank you very much for your time, Philip. All the best for the next couple of days and hopefully I'll see you very soon on FinTech Power 50. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.